That's better. I definitely like this setup more. Hello, you pretty person. Miss me? It's been like two or three days since the last time we've talked. I mean, like the last video. Okay, anyway, so today I'm doing the gouache sketching. If you remember in previous video, I mentioned trying new technique for working with gouache. So the point is that instead of blending and going into details, I try to make flat colors. So it's still obvious what you see, but they are like flat colors. Um, something like the old masters did when they put like two brush strokes, but you can see it's a face. Well, I'm obviously not going into cubism or black square type of painting, but I think that's less detailed work in one part of art can really bring the other part of this piece up. So the goal is to learn doing sketches where you can see each color and stroke apart, but they still look balanced and harmonious together. So the first thing I did is limited myself in time. I won't stay in one area for too long and I will need to decide which areas are more important than others. Overall, it took me like one hour with sketching and color mixing and color guessing. And let me tell you, I spent quite some time to get needed shade, which required improvement definitely, because I spent too much time on guessing which color I see and how to mix it. And by the way, I work from reference pick here. And this, this sketching way with gouache is awesome for practicing pretty color combinations and you know for this like insta and pinterest pictures like when you see a really really pretty picture and you want to get down that feeling or aesthetic but you don't want full blown out piece so um also i choose wrong brush at the beginning because it didn't pick up much point and that's why it's important to know how each of your brushes works and with second brush there were always like water drop on holder part of the brush which were falling on my piece and drawing in it so I needed to constantly check to get rid of these excessive water drops. But the thing that speeds up your work though is working in different parts of the art so you're not wasting time on waiting a paint to dry and you're constantly painting and as for me the gouache is actually the has the best drying time anyway. So uh, by the way, on the left you can see the Dean sketch and one sketch is also hidden behind paper because it's a sketch for an art trait that I'm working on with Ashton Alexandra. I hope I, <laughs> I pronounced that right. I will leave her YouTube link down below, but that's my first art trait and I want to record it for you later. And two more things that I want to add. First of all, I created art tutorials playlist. So you can watch all tutorials that I did and the ones that I found most helpful for me and you can watch them and get and learn and get information from there. So it's high quality stuff. So also second thing, remember in one of my sketchbook videos I mentioned uh, that I can draw full bodies and that I'm currently trying to learn them. <laughs> so I am preparing an anatomy video for you with my current progress and if you have any questions about that, like what is the hardest part in anatomy? or for you or what I should mention in the video please leave me comment below about it so I can make it more I can make it better for you and more interesting for you and that's it for today hope to see you soon click a like and leave a comment if you enjoyed it seek for inspiration and always carry on goodbye